Well, I was an apprentice butcher and Nettie used to work in the chemist a couple of doors up the street. And this lovely young lady used to come in and I thought she used to buy that much meat, I thought she had a round. <laughs> there were six children in our family. So that's how we got together. And then, um, I w you know, we went out a couple of times. Then I was called up in the Nashos in 1952. We, actually, when we got married in 1956, the Olympic Games were on in Melbourne. And I was chosen for the shooting team. But we decided to get married. I said, you can scratch my name off the two. They said, but this is the Olympics. Well, I was brought up on a farm. We didn't have time for running and jumping over hurdles. And the Olympics didn't mean much to me. They said, what are you doing? I said, we're getting married. We've had some fascinating cars. I bought a, uh, a 1947 Ford convertible. There was two in Australia. We had some lovely times at that. I took a guy to a funeral one day and a bloke come and made me an offer that I couldn't refuse and I finished up selling it. That's the silliest thing I ever done in my life. I went and sold it. I don't know about that. And <laughs> we're both born in Melbourne. We're both Melbourneites. I retired in 91. We just decided to pack up and come up to the warmer climate. And we haven't regretted it, it's been wonderful. Yeah, I just like being here and I enjoy it. And... Our two daughters, yeah, they're good. I've got seven great grandkids. But this lady's been such a sweet lady, I doubt whether we've had a proper argument in 66 years. Easy to live with and a real good mum looking after the kids. She's always been a sweet lady.